Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. If you want to use a single form to display information from two or more related tables in your database, using subforms is the way to accomplish that goal. With subforms, you can view the data from one table, or the parent table, and then view any related data from another related table, or a child table, as an embedded subform within the original or parent form. So this can be an excellent way to create one main form that allows the user to edit information in multiple related tables. In forms that use subforms, the main or outer form displays table data that represents the one side of a one-to-many join. The linked subform will need to display table data that shows the many side of the relationship between the two tables. So you can display data in the subform in either form view, which shows one record at a time from the subform, or the datasheet view, which shows multiple records at a time. Using the datasheet view of the subform is very common. So you can add multiple subforms to a main form as well, and you can even add subforms within other subforms. Now when you create subforms, you start by creating two separate forms, one for each table. So in the example that we can see on screen, I've got the form sales for the sales table. I would then need to have a subform for sales details to place into this form. Now, once you have the forms for both tables, you can just drag the icon of the subform from the navigation pane into the main form when it's displayed in design view, just as if it were a form control. However, it's often better to create the subform first, as you can then set the display properties for it and decide how large it will be, and that way you can leave appropriate space in your main form for the embedded subform when you design that. So to make a subform here for sales details, you can select the table, click create. Let's say I want to just create a multiple items form. So that would look like this. Switch to design view here and then choose how much room to display. Now once that's set, you could just save it. And this will become the subform that we will then embed into the main form. Now, after you've dragged the subform and dropped it into the main form, you'll see it displayed as an embedded subform control. Now, you can change the properties of the subform by just selecting the subform just as if it were a control in the main form. And you can see its properties in the property sheet. If you double click the selected subform, you can edit its properties in the properties panel as well. You can also simply edit either form in form design view to make changes there. So for example, if I wanted to open this subform up in its own window, once again, I can still do that. and changes that are made in one view will affect the other. Now, if for some reason your subform isn't linking up and filtering correctly, and perhaps you're seeing all the records in the subform when you only should see certain filtered records, then one thing you can do is select your subform and click the data tab in the property sheet. Make sure that it's linking the appropriate fields between the two tables. And make sure that the source object are the appropriate tables.
So for this form, you can see this is set to the record source on the data tab of sales. And for the subform, it's sales details. So you'd want to make sure that you're using the appropriate tables and that they're joined together appropriately. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.